Welcome back, nerdlings. Yo, nerdlings. This is our Hyrulean quest to see if we have 1,000 Zelda items. And we've got five more things to talk about here. You say Hyrulean? Hyrulean? I, I do. How do you say it? Hyrulean. Hyrulean? But it's, there's a U. I know, but it's, I call it Hyrule, but it just sounds weird to say Hyrulean. I like to say Hyrulean. That's weird. Ocarina, Ocarina, what are you? Ocarina all the time. 100% Ocarina. <laughs> Let me spit on my Ocarina! You gotta start from the start, right? The Legend of Zelda, the gold cartridge on the NES. Who didn't want this game simply because it was a gold cartridge, you know? Honestly, when I was younger, never really got into the first two Zelda games. It was linked to the past that won me over, but then I was able to go back and revisit them and appreciate them much more. Yeah, go Link, yeah, get some. Awesome. Intense. The Nintendo Entertainment System. Your parents help you hook it up. And to go with the gold cartridge, I've got the boxed copy, CIB, of the gray cart when they re-released it because, I mean, hey, it's part of the classic series. It did so well. So many people love The Legend of Zelda. They gotta kick it back out there and make some more money, right? Zelda! The Legend of Zelda. A never-ending adventure new for your Nintendo Entertainment System. Zelda! Well, one item that I want to talk about is an official item. It is the sword from Z The Legend of Zelda, the first game. And it is, you can turn it on and it is motion activated. It makes a pew pew noise that he makes in the game. Uh, but we don't leave this on. Yeah, why is that? It's haunted. It kind of freaked us out one night. It goes off on its own. It was just sitting on the table, you know, like, like it is. And we hear the other room, pew pew pew. And we're like, what the heck is that? And we started walking around the house looking for it and came into the game room and it was just going off on its own. We even turned it off and it still made a noise or two. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Haunted swords, Zelda swords, go figure. Something I absolutely love is the Legend of Zelda hand-drawn game guide. I am so, so happy to have this. Hey, link down in the description below for the hand-drawn guides. Amazing, amazing work for a bevy of games. You definitely want more of these, don't you? I, I really do. Uh, not all of them are still available physically, but you can get PDF formats of them, so you can see all of this amazing artwork in here. I love the care that goes into the monsters, first mm -hmm. and foremost. They look so, so good. And the scenes that really help paint the picture to draw out the storyline and everything, they're really great. They're very expressive. They're very action-oriented. And you have these little handwritten notes in there, whether it's talking about the story itself or just walking you through the game like it's a story. And then you have the maps. These maps are so cool because they're like the hand-drawn maps we made as kids <laughs> yeah. to make sure we weren't getting lost in these dungeons. Even if you can't get a physical copy, consider getting a digital copy because they're so much fun he even goes through the extra effort of adding some fun games, a maze, a crossword. And I am going to bundle these two together. I probably could get away with separating them, but I'll bundle them together because I got them both at the same time. Not only did he do a guide, he did a map. Yeah. The whole overworld cool. map. Pretty so that cool. Is awesome. I had a custom leather mask uh, made for yours truly right here. This was during the pandemic, the height of the pandemic, when we all had to wear masks everywhere we went. There is a leather guy local to us named Silverstein Customs, and he makes amazing leather work. He came uh, to the shop that I used to own wearing a um, Mortal Kombat mask. And I was like, can you make any mask out of leather? And he goes, oh yeah, totally. Challenge me. 
So I so I asked him, what kind of mask would you want if you could have any kind of custom mask? And you said this one. Oh yeah, Majora's mask. Yeah. Come on. So I challenged him with this one, get him a bunch of pictures of it, and he custom made this and then custom painted it. And one of the things that he was most curious about how to do was the spikes on the side, and he decided mm -hmm. to make them out of leather and he's lined the inside of it you actually find it pretty comfortable yeah the inside has a nice felt to it so it's actually very easy to breathe through the loops that he put on here they're very soft and they're very springy and even though it's leather and it does have a bit of heft it sits very well on your face and because of these loops it doesn't feel like it's pulling yeah. on your ears or anything and the nice thing is, is where the holes are in the mask is where he put the breathing holes and he put a filter where the holes in the mask are supposed to be. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Oh. <laughs> but anyway, this guy's named Silverstein Custom and we will put a link in the description below. He's got a bunch of other really cool stuff. He does wallets. He does all kinds of fun stuff. So check him out. Well, I think we have a nerdling who wants to share a bit of their Zelda fandom. So we're going to turn it over to them. Hello, Total Level here, and do I nerd on Zelda? Well, besides a lot of the games that I have here, uh, I don't have too many Zelda swag or anything, but I have a few cool items, so yeah, have this. Zelda CD for pre-ordering Ocarina of Time 3D on the 3DS. Minish Cap <laughs> Guidebook, which yeah, had since I got the game for Christmas. Zelda Hyrule. Historia, which, yeah, really cool book and all that. It's outdated now, but, yeah, still really cool to have have this continue, which, you know, you could argue Zelda or not, but it has, like, the Z turned sideways to make an N and a heart for Zelda there. Loot Crate, uh, you know, Link, and, yeah, from Zelda 1. Superhero. Smash Brothers shirt, so we have, yeah, Link as Green Arrow there. Zelda shirt. The Sephiroth Majora's Mask Kai crossover here. This really cool Zelda shirt where at the bottom, uh, yeah, at the bottom here, they're playing the Song of Time. <laughs> Again, not too many Zelda items, mostly just the games, but still really cool stuff and hope you enjoyed that there you are nerdlings going for 1000 to see if we have a thousand zelda things in our collection leave some comments down below again hit up that email if you have a two minute or less video clip sharing your zelda fandom because we'd love to add it to a future video and it doesn't have to be official it can be something a little more homemade because it's all awesome in the land of Hyrule, or Hyrule, however you want to say no, it. No, it's Hyrule, but Hillian. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Nerdlings. Bye, Nerdlings.